January 8th, uh, we just finished up on the um, roof, and now we're standing in the main uh, bedroom where the looks like the damage is localized to this area right above the uh, window. Um, I will say that I do see evidence that this has been a long-term ongoing issue uh, because um, not only do we have paint that's lifting on the windowsill over on the right side of the window, but if we follow the, the track here all the way to the left side of the window, and I see evidence that the paint has lifted also on the left side of the window. So we have uh, paint lifting here, a little bit of drywall damage on the left side. Plus we have some paint that's lifted on the, uh, just as you rise from the seal, okay? Um, I'm looking in the track, the upper track of the window, and you can see here, we have no evidence of water whatsoever, but once we pass the second blind or where this tape is beginning and there's a break in the window, you can actually see up here that there is water staining and water leaking into the structure. And of course I'll take pictures, but it definitely appears to be localized uh, we do see some fittings here that are starting to discolor. We have one fitting on the ceiling, and I'll wait for the camera to, there we go. We have one fitting uh, that's popping through and discoloring, but if we continue to the next joist, right there, I can visibly see another fitting that's discoloring. So whatever water is coming through the structure, and I don't have a ladder, unfortunately, but whatever water is coming through the structure from the, from the roof area, coming down and it's wetting along this line, but it's also coming down here. And this drywall is extremely wet, just touching it. Okay, you can see my hands are clean and I just lightly touch, and you can see that there's a transfer of moisture and drywall to my fingers. Um, it's just, it's a large portion of water. So, you know, the recommended repair would be to uh, cut the drywall back. I would say no less than two or three bays. We need to expose all those studs, make sure that that's absolutely dry, two, three bays this direction, go up in here, two, three, um, you know, your roofing trusses, so you're gonna go two, three bays that direction and that direction. So we really just need to come in here, open this all up, air it out, probably use some mildicide, and we also need to do some exploring to find where that leak is coming from. And unfortunately, I did not bring a ladder. But we are directly underneath the drain that's in the roof there. 